Hey guys, it's Christy. I am here with another card making video. I'm not going to do a series right now. Um, I thought I'd just do a couple um, make a card with Christy videos. And today I'm actually in need of a sympathy card. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and film it and walk you through my process. Um, so to begin with, I wanted to pick out um, some more muted hues. So I went with some blues and I'm using the Avery L Aquamarine and Sea Glass. And I have never tried these inks out, so we're going to try them out together right now. And then I've picked out a couple of greens. I've got the Pistachio and Olive Grove from Memento Lux as well as the Pear Tart and the Dandelion, which is going to be just a very small accent. So, um, a good way to go with sympathy cards is always florals or something that is more um, nature themed. Um, so I've picked out this Petals and Stems set from Avery L. And I've got the stamps and the matching dies. And then I have a sentiment from the Oh Happy Day stamp set from Avery L, which says, with sympathy. So to begin, I'm going to start with my sentiment, which I have mounted onto my large Martha Stewart stamp press. And I'm going to take the Olive Grove, which is the darkest of my greens, and I'm going to ink that up really well especially since I've never used these stamps before. I'm going to make sure that I get really good coverage. Okay. And the reason I'm stamping out my sentiment first is because um, I want to place my florals around it. So I'm just using the grid lines on my mat and the grid lines on my block to get that nice and straight. Okay. Okay, now I'm taking the largest floral in that stamp set and I'm going to ink that up with the darker of my two inks. This is the Aquamarine from Avery L. And again, I'm just going to make sure I get really good coverage. Okay. And I'm going to stamp that out right there. Okay. And I didn't get a perfect impression, but that's okay because I'm actually going to be die cutting um, an extra piece to pop up over that. But I wanted to stamp it out so I can get my placement so that I know exactly where to pop it up and so that I can layer some of the leaves underneath it, which I will show you in just a minute. So again, I'm inking this up really good, making sure I get really good coverage this time. And then I'll just stamp that down on my scrap. This is um, oatmeal cardstock from W plus 9, by the way. Okay much better. I'm just going to go ahead and clean that stamp off really quick with a baby wipe. Okay, now I'm going to take the next size down flower in that set, which is um, the same kind of flower as the first one, just a slightly smaller one. And I'm going to ink that up as well and get my placement for that one. Okay. And then I'll ink that up again. And that didn't work very well. So I'll stamp on another. Just kind of walk my fingers across that and make sure I'm transferring the ink. Now I can set that aside. All right, now I'm going to take the largest leaf in this set and I'm going to grab a piece of scratch paper, just stick underneath the card, and I'm going to ink this one up 
in my darkest ink, which is the Olive Grove from Memento Lux. Okay. And I'm going to stamp this one out. And you can see now it's going to layer over top of this flower. But once I do the die cut and uh, pop that up, you won't see the, you know, the stem going over the flower anymore. So I'm going to put that one right there. Okay, and I pressed down a little too hard right there, you can see. So I will uh, stamp out a flower to put over that. We'll just cover that up. We'll do one over here. Taking the smaller leaf now that's in this set, and I'm going to ink this one up with some pistachio. This is Memento Lux. Okay. I'll put one of these right there. Right there. I think we'll do one more over here. Okay. I'm finding I have to press a lot less firmly with this Memento Lux ink. That's not to say that the Avery L ink isn't just as good. Um, I just had to press really, really hard to get a good impression. And um, using that same pressure with the Memento Lux um, kind of resulted in some messy inking. So um, that's good to know. With the Memento Lux, you want to use a lighter hand. I'm going to move on to the pear tart, and I'm going to take this small leaf there. Go ahead and ink that up. Another there. There. Maybe a little bit more free with this one just because it will add a little bit of brightness in there again. Um, there's a little bit lacking from you know the more somber colors that I chose for this palette. There. Trying to fill in some of this. Okay. I am also noticing that the Avery L ink and possibly the Memento um, is still wet. So when I'm stamping over the blue, it did pick up a little bit of the blue right there, which I don't mind at all. That just has a little variation color. Totally okay with me. So. I think I'm going to take this smaller one again and I'm going to stamp that in some pistachio as well. Let me just make sure that there's a die for it. Yes, there is. And just in case, I'm going to stamp that out twice. All right, now I'm taking this smaller flower here and I'm going to stamp that in the sea glass ink. here and I will stamp another one to pop up okay and then one there okay this one also has a smaller version And I think at this point I'm not going to even bother stamping out a placement. I'm just going to go ahead and 
I'll die cut those out and add them in as needed because they're so small. They'll be easy to move around. Okay. I'm going to take the small center of these flowers here and I'm going to try that out in the Memento Lux um, Dandelion. This might be too bold. I was afraid it might be. So I'm going to stamp it out and see. Mm -hmm. Let me see what a second generation would be like. Doesn't stamp very clearly. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it full strength. And I'm just going to line that up. Okay, stamp that down in the center of that flower. And then I'm taking the same version of that stamp for this one. And I'll just line that up again. Okay, so I've die cut all my pieces and I've laid those out pretty much where I want them. So I'm going to begin by adding some layers to my cards. I'm going to I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of the larger flower. And I'll add some dimensionals to the back of this medium flower. Okay, I'm going to take this flower here and I'm going to add that directly to the card with a little bit of Tombow Mono. Okay, I'm going to take this one here and I'll add that to the card with Tombow Mono as well. Slide that into place right where I had it. Okay. I'm going to take these leaves and I'm just going to curl them up with my fingers. And then I'll add a little bit of Tombow Mono to the back. And then I'll take one small dimensional and add that up to the top. trying to accent that sentiment without covering it up. Okay. And I'll do the same with this leaf here. I'm going to add this one to this side. Okay, I'm going to take one dimensional on the back of these little ones. I guess they're going to take two. And I'm going to pop this one up over here. And I've got one more. Just trying to decide where I want that. I'm going to put it right here. Alright, so that's our focal panel. Now I'm going to take a piece of Lake House Blue cardstock from W Plus 9 and I'm going to add that to the card front like this up to the right corner and I think I'm just going to add that straight onto the card and because I have so much dimension on my card I'm just going to go ahead and hear that with a little more Tom Milano. Works just as well as the tape runner. Okay. Just slide that up before it dries. All right, and that's our card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that gave you some ideas if you need a sympathy card. So, uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.